Attractive women who can't make you laugh are only good for one thing. And that one thing is being sexual partners. As harsh as it may sound, answer me this. Why would you want to be with somebody who can't put a smile on your face? Why would you want to be with somebody who can't make you laugh? Like, as men, we allow attractive females to get away with everything but murder. They don't have to put in as much work to win us over. Her glutus maximus, her, her physical appearance already got you ready to sign the dotted line and sell your soul. Think about how many times you've seen a chick on, on social media or just walking the street and you like, yo, bro, I ain't even gonna lie to you. If she let me hit, I'm not pulling out. I've heard you say this, but if she let me hit, I am not pulling out. Why? Because she look good? Huh? A lot of us, we allow the fact that some of these females are quote unquote bad bitches cancel out the fact that they have a personality like a Toyota Prius. You go on a date with her, you paying for dinner, you paying for the movies, you picked her up, and you still have to push the conversation. She has nothing to talk about. She's not funny. What's that on your face, my boy? Come here. Come here. What's that? No, 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 no. What's that on your face? What is that? Shake him. What is? What is this? Is it ice cream? It's in your hair! How it got in your hair? Shake him. What's that in your hair? No, don't tap your hair. What is that? No. Shake him. Stop playing with me. Stop stop playing with me. What is what what is that? We have some technical difficulties. I'll be right back. Shake him. What? If what I'm saying sounds crazy, I want you to think about this. Think about the last time you went to dinner or the last time you went to a club. Think about how your waitress looked and think about how that affected the tip that you left. There's a reason why restaurant owners and club owners hire certain girls. There's a reason why, because they know that you're gonna spend damn near your whole life savings trying to impress her. Now we go back to regular situations, you doing everything in your power to impress this woman and get on her good graces because she looks good. Why? Because you're trying to impress her. Let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all boys something, man. Attraction is what initially lets you notice somebody. She might have the glutus maximus, her body might be fire, all that. But it should not be the end all be all. Just because somebody is attractive does not mean that they're automatically wifey material. That goes for women too. Just because a dude is attractive does not mean he's hubby material, you know what I'm saying? It's other factors that, that plays into that. Like me, motherfucker, look. If you're not funny, I ain't laughing. That's something like I had to, I had to tell a few of my, my friends when we was in college, we used to have these get-togethers, these little house parties and stuff like that. And it'd be amazing to me how niggas will laugh at some dumb shit a female will do because she attractive. And I'll be sitting there and they looking at me like I'm a hater. Like, no, I'm not hating. The bitch not funny. Bro, it, it used to really bother me seeing my friends go out their way to make the prettiest girl in the room or the so-called bad bitch comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times while they're doing that, they're literally trampling over the regular chicks who was holding us down throughout the whole school year. But what bothered me even more was the entitlement that I could sense from the so-called bad chick. It was one of those like, I expect you to treat me like this. Like, why would you not? I expect you to shit on your homegirls to try to impress me. I expect this. Every little thing that the chick might say, niggas might find interesting. And it really don't be interesting at all. Cause when you, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, but I, ha I have a problem with that shit, man. I, I have a problem with the fact that us men have to impress people that aren't impressive. Your looks might be impressive, but when that fade, what else do you have? If we had to put a blanket over our faces and carry a conversation, would I still find you interesting? Stop selling yourself short. That's why a lot of y'all be ending up in these situations with, the, with these girls, man. Like, everything was all good at the beginning. She looked good. You know what I'm saying? She finally gave you the pussy. So now you cracking, you cracking. You get in a relationship with her. And after you done got used to getting the pussy, she has nothing else to offer you. Y'all can't talk about nothing. The problems that you're going through, she can't help you. She has no empathy towards nothing you're going through. She can't put a smile on your face. You walking around here all depressed and shit. You going through whatever you going through at work. You go home. Your wife, your woman can't even make you feel better. I need to Google something right quick. Laughter is a potent releaser of endorphins. A very recent article published in the Journal of Neuroscience shows that laughing with others releases endorphins, the chemicals that help us feel good in our brain via opioid receptors. 
The more opioid receptors in the brain, the more powerful the effect. And yes, these are some the same receptors that highly addictive opioid drugs also bind to. Why would you not want to be with somebody that makes you laugh? Stop selling yourself short. Okay? Stop letting people's attractiveness put you in, in, in hot water. Bro, perfect example. Perfect example, man. One of my friends, one of my best friends, he's like, I think he just got, he got divorced, actually. But before he got divorced, before he even got married, you know, he was telling me certain stories about, about his girlfriend. And I was like, ooh, this, this sound a little crazy, my boy. She sound like she, she a little out there, son. Maybe, you know, y'all, you should review the situation a little bit better. You know, pay attention to more things. Nigga was like, nah, bro, she cool, bro. Now, I'm not gonna lie, she was gorgeous. She, she was beautiful, bro. The thing, from the things he was telling me, I'm like, oh, nah, she a psychopath. Basically, my boy had applied for these jobs, and these jobs pay a lot of money, dog. The, the criteria for these jobs is they would send him out to different states, and he was actually helping out, like, these hospitals. It's like a new program that they had running, and he would help out these hospitals. So when they would send him out to these states, they're paying $8,000. Like, he might get $8,000 for two weeks worth of work. So he had applied for one of these, the recruiter sent him an email for a job opportunity. He told me that his shorty, there was she was mad at him, replied back to one of the emails and told the lady, oh no, I'm not interested. I said, what? No, she didn't. She did that for real? He's like, yeah. There's other things that that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna get I don't wanna dive too deep into these people's business, but like it's other things that she did that I was just like, bro, like she look good, bro, but, you know, it's not worth it. We It is a known fact that women who are crazy have the best pussy. So she was probably sending his ass to the shadow realm. And that might have played a factor in it, too. But at the same time, it's things that he should have been noticed that he just did not notice. He just looked over them. And I guarantee you it was because she looked good and because... She was giving him that, that what? I promise you, I be feeling sorry for a lot of these like celebrities, like NBA players and stuff like that. Because all they're surrounded by is a bunch of dodo brains that look good. Some of these niggas' wives and girlfriends and the, and the people they choose to have babies with a dumber than a can of paint. Then again, let me not say that. Let me not even let me not even say that. Because they smart enough to know how to take the bag from you. So let me not say that. Don't let somebody's physical appearance blind you from the, the things that are most important. Cause looks fade away. Personalities and and who a person is on the inside, that stays around for the longest. Yeah, I did.